So there are two ways to download and install a program. And the reason why there's not just one way is some programs just function better if you download them from the internet and uh, or a web browser, whichever way you look at it. But others are better when you download them from the App Store. This is the App Store, but uh, let's say I don't see it in my dock, because you might not. If you don't see it in your dock, go to Launchpad over on the left-hand side and left-click on Launchpad, and you should see it. There it is right there. But again, if you don't see it, just left-click on Search and type in APP. And there it is. Then left-click on App Store. So now that I've got the App Store open, I'm going to see, I'm going to download Firefox as the demonstration today. So I want to see uh, if it's actually in the App Store. And I'm going to just type in Firefox, press return or enter on my keyboard. And I see a lot of things that say they're Firefox, open with Pro uh, Browser Picker, and I, I'm Browser Ninja. Um, honestly, if you're remotely confused, just don't do it. And uh, this isn't... Firefox. This is an app that somehow connects to them, and I don't know why that's an option. So I'm just going to left click on the yellow dot, which will shrink uh, or hide my app store. And basically, go on Google. Whatever you're looking for, go on Google, type in uh, the name of the program, and then for Mac, if you want, if you're using a Mac, if you're using a PC, you can say for PC, and it'll take you to uh, the right site. One of the top sites should be it. I won't go to MacUpdate.com. I will go to Mozilla because I just know from experience Firefox is also is also Mozilla. So I've left clicked on that, and it takes me to my download page. I'll left click on Download Now, and now it's going to ask me uh, where do I want to put it. Um, I'm not going to download it into this folder. There's a lot of things blurred out because it's actually private information. I'm actually going to left click on Desktop and then that's it. So it's going to go to my desktop screen. I'm going to left click on save and you can see it's downloading here and it's all done. So now I'm going to left click on the yellow dot just to shrink that and you can see right here is the Firefox installation file. This is where things can get weird. If you're on a uh, Mac it's going to have a .dmg at the end. If you're on a PC it's going to have a .exe all right, now the rest of this tutorial is going to show you a Mac interface, but the general rules and principles are the same. So you can still follow along, but the exact spots on where the word continue would be or enter would be different if this is PC. So I'm just going to double left click on, on this file, the firefox87.dmg, and it's verifying the file. Now all you have to do is left click and hold down the left click button and then move your mouse over so it's left click and drag and then let go once you see the um, the white plus with the green dot and you can see that it's actually now copying itself into the applications folder I just do this for my own fun I'm gonna double left click on the application folder and you can see all my programs here and here is Firefox now, if I want to use Firefox all the time, I'm going to put it in my dock. And in order to put it in your dock, you just left click and hold and move your mouse down until your dock appears. But then you have to move it until a space gets created between apps. And so there's a space here and now I just let go. And it's right there. So now that it's in the spot I want it to be, it's all installed. I'm just going to left click on the red dot, left click on this red dot and I'm now going to eject this because it's done. So I'm actually going to left click and drag down to my trash can because that's how we eject as well as put things in trash and just let go once it's over the trash can. There we go. And I also don't need this file so I'm just going to left click and drag down to my trash can and let go. And if you want to empty your trash can just right click and then left click empty trash and then left click again. There you go. So I'm going to open up Firefox. And this may come up. This is just, you know, your security for your computer being like, you know, are you sure you want to open this? I know this is secure, so I'm just going to left click on open. And there we go. 
Now, you have a few options uh, when it comes to using Firefox. You can make it your default browser. I like Google Chrome more, so I'm not going to do it, so I'm going to left click on Not Now. Um, and you can import passwords and bookmarks from, say, Google Chrome, which I'll do in another lesson. But the program uh, Firefox is all up and running. So that's all you have to do. So if you wanted to go to Google, for example, just type in google.ca or .com, wherever you're from, and you can just go nuts.